Welcome to Narvi Academy. In this presentation, I'm going to explain what is EEU. Let's start. EEU or EAEU stands for Eurasian Economic Union. The Eurasian Economic Union is an international organization for regional economic integration founded by some post-Soviet states located in Eurasia. The Eurasian Economic Union has a market of about 183 million people and a nominal GDP of over 2.4 trillion US dollar. Formation The Treaty on the Eurasian Economic Union was signed on 29th May 2014 by the leaders of the Belarus, Kazakhstan and Russia and came into force on 1st January 2015. However, the idea of Eurasian Economic Union came in 1990s. Russia and the Central Asian countries in the 1990s were weakened economically and faced declines in their GDP as a result of the collapse of the Soviet Union. In 1994, during a speech at Moscow State University, the first president of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, suggested the idea of creating a new regional economic bloc in order to connect the economies of Europe and East Asia. That's how this organization was founded. Members The member states of the Eurasian Economic Union are the Republic of Armenia, the Republic of Belarus, the Republic of Kazakhstan, the Kyrgyz Republic, and the Russian Federation. Let's see the member states on the world map. Here we can see the exact location of the member countries of Eurasian Economic Union. The members are Russia, Belarus, Armenia, Kazakhstan, and Kyrgyzstan. Objectives of Eurasian Economic Union The Eurasian Economic Union provides for the free movement of goods, services, capital, and labor and pursues coordinated, harmonized, and single policy in the sectors determined by the treaty and international agreements within the Union. Governance There are four main parts of the governance of the organization. Supreme Eurasian Economic Council The Supreme Eurasian Economic Council is the supreme body of the Union which includes the heads of the member states and makes the crucial decisions for the Union. The Supreme Council determines the strategy, direction and prospects of integration and takes decisions to achieve the goals of the Union. Second is Eurasian Intergovernmental Council this council is a union body comprising the heads of the member states' governments. It is responsible for the management of the Eurasian Commission. It also considers issues of customs, cooperation, trade and the development of Eurasian integration. The council convenes once every quarter. The third is Eurasian Economic Commission. This commission is a permanent regulatory body of the Union with its members appointed by the Council of the Commission and the Board of the Commission. The main tasks of the commission are to foster the conditions to support the operation and development of the Union and draft proposals in the field of economic integration within the Union. Fourth and last is the Court of the Eurasian Economic Union. This Court of Eurasian Economic Union is the Court of Justice of the Eurasian Economic Union, which ensures the uniform application of the organization and the other union treaties by the union member states and bodies. It is a charge of dispute, resolution and interpretation of the legal order within the Eurasian Economic Union. Headquarters the headquarters of the Eurasian Economic Commission is situated in Moscow, Russia and the headquarters of the Court of the Eurasian Economic Union is in Minsk, Belarus. Official language The Eurasian Economic Union works in the Russian language only. Free Trade Agreement The Eurasian Economic Union has signed free trade agreements with different countries such as Ukraine signed in 2012 Moldova signed in 2013, 
Uzbekistan signed in 2014, Egypt signed in 2015, Tajikistan signed in 2016, Vietnam also signed in 2016, China signed in 2019, Serbia also signed in 2019, and Iran signed in 2021. And now the potential candidates for the free trade agreements are Israel and India. That's it for now. We will come back with a different topic. Till then, keep watching Narvi Academy.